Do you think we explain the um the bold vibe look? Nah. <laughs> Just roll with it. <laughs> Don't want to let anyone know. Right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. I feel like I can't really hide it. I'm actually... It's, this vlog is, like, back to front. So, I've got a bit from, like, last week and then a bit from this week, which I'm putting all into one. So, yeah, you will tell that I'm, I've gone bold. She bold. She bold. <laughs> What's that meme I was telling you? I didn't call you Baldy Baldy. If anyone else has seen that meme, please let me know because no one has seemed to have seen it. I didn't call you Baldy Baldy. I didn't call you Baldy Baldy. I've taken my extensions out for good reason because I loved my hair, but it was it was definitely ruining it. So, tip, right? I got my extensions put in four years ago and I've never had a break. If you've got extensions in now and you've never had a break, take them out because I'm telling you, you'll regret it. But anyway, so we're rocking the we're on our hair journey look i've literally just milked and it's been raining so yeah it's a bit of a mess but anyway enough of the hair today we are literally doing my favorite day this is my favorite day right so i've milked this morning and then me and p are just going to go riding now so we're going to do it the loop round us which takes about an hour and then i'm going to do nicky nook which i haven't done since i injured my knee so i need to take it steady and i need to, need to make sure that i don't you know give way on my knee or whatever but yeah i really can't wait honestly this is like my favorite day i used to do this all the time and i haven't done it in ages so i'm looking forward to it um and i thought i'd vlog it and take you along because why not so yeah i'm literally just tacking up just got my hat and just need to get my tack and then we're off <laughs> I think the dogs will come then because there's a trailer on so yeah she needs to hurry up really i'm just gonna ring her <laughs> three dogs two horses a crazy woman on a bike with a trailer <laughs> he's already dropped a phone the farm's there we're here ashley's fallen off the bike six times although someone just stopped her and was like you're getting a fair set up there lass <laughs> she's like yeah i know so funny. It's for the dogs. It's for the dogs. Going around when possible. So that's it. Good girl. You've gone a little bit lame now. She's staying in there. Good girl.
bread. Say hi, everyone. Stop coughing, Russell. You need to go and sort yourself out, man. Hey, Ooh, come out. Don't cough in my face. Get out. It's my birthday week. Isn't it, Russell? It's my birthday. Stop coughing on me. Birthday week. <laughs> I'm just doing a bit of behind the scenes for what we're doing today, just for the vlog. So we're doing a bit of filming for Sam and he organises a bit of AGM, which if you don't know what AGM is, it's like, how would you describe AGM? Like the annual farmer get together weekend. Yeah, big kiss up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we help with like just promoting like, there's two weeks left, make sure you buy your tickets, all that sort of stuff. So we're just gonna be a bit creative with it and we're getting, this is little Bonnie who Alex is half halter trained, she's told me, which we'll see if... Oh, that's <laughs> it looks massive. <laughs> what have you trained her with? That one or no. the coloured one? Yeah. That's up by the stables. Does it, does it look better? Yeah. Do you want that on her? Yeah, nice. yeah, I can go and get it. Yeah. Yeah, so Freddie's going to have a deal with Bonnie. Yeah. Got your halter, haven't you? That's for April, that. That one's for Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie, yeah. <laughs> Come on, then. You go through here with Alex. Yeah. I'm totally really well. Wrapping the merch. No, you're not going to wear that, are you? You don't have to. Alex, can we catch her? Oh, let me catch her for you. Yeah. And then you can drag her out. Go on, Alex. <laughs> oh, smooth. You ready? Impressive. There you go. <laughs> That's it. You pull her out. It really wants to be pulled out, doesn't it? On the concrete, yeah. I think if you shut the door, yeah. clean concrete, backdrop, you could just stand with her, couldn't you? She ain't going to walk so far. <laughs> oh, Lass is trying to get out. What are you wanting Alex to say then? Um, it is just six weeks until the AGM. Uh, what's, uh, what's the date of AGM? Christ. No, I... This looks a bit tattered, doesn't it? No? Do you not think? Oh, you look good. All the writing's peeling off. Well, you can't really sell because you jack it. Right, um, we've got seven weeks. That was on Friday. So six weeks until the AGM in Blackpool at the Winter Gardens. On, on starting on Friday the 3rd of May. Grab your tweets to the young farmers age over Blackpool. Grab your tickets using the link in our description. Yeah? Right. <coughs> hey, at the Winter Gardens, it's Cowboys and Indian theme. Make sure you get involved. At the... <laughs> Why is this so difficult today? Yeah. On the Sunday, the 5th of April. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> This outfit looks so weird. <laughs> anyway, we're just looking for April now because she's going to be in our next shot. So we're pretty sure she's up here, but I'm not spotted her yet. Is she here? Not back with her then, when it's not. So we are just weeks away from the Young Farmers AGM in Blackpool and as the official organisers we have Yates's Pop World Walkabout and the Winter Gardens for all three days, Friday to Sunday, massive acts, massive giveaways, drinks, deals, you name it, it's going to be the biggest yet. So if you haven't grabbed your tickets make sure you do using the link in our description and we can't wait to see you all in Blackpool. April's job done. Come on, April. She 
is the main character. She is. She's nailed that. Yeah. Thank you. She's coming. <laughs> Billy, you like excited about the fact there's two weeks to go. Just two weeks to go until the Young Farmers AGM. Can't wait to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> you always end it so abrupt. <laughs> What else could you say? Like, there's just one week left now, guys, until the AGM kicks off in Blackpool the 3rd to the 5th of May. Can't wait to see you all there. Well done. Do you want to say? Thanks, Freddie. Can we do the we did the polos one, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we want to say. So basically, Sam helps organise the AGM at Blackpool for the young farmers, and we've just done some like run-up videos. Like, there's one week away, guys. Make sure you get your tickets. That sort of vibe um if you are from the uk and you do want to come to agm then make sure you go and check it out because honestly it's a great weekend um in blackpool it's loads of fun there's loads going on there's all sorts going on this year so make sure you head over and check it out i feel like i've been saying that all morning but do do that because it's a great great weekend <laughs> we've getting a boat we've bought a boat but the boat is bigger than we saw it to be honest we should have thought <laughs> we haven't bought it mate so i'll tell you the background so in a previous week vlog i'd said how i'd lost my brother's kayaks right and that he was going to kill me some really nice person who watches the videos reached out and was like oh i've got some kayaks and canoes and a boat you can have so i thought i'd literally hit the jackpot we literally thought though this boat was would be like a <laughs> two person rowing boat I'm honestly i'm picturing like a rowing boat put the dogs in take a picnic Kind of We're fitting the whole of Evie's handy on this boat. It's a hell of a boat. It's a big boat. So we're just driving back with it now really steadily. In fact, we've no idea where we're going. Oh yeah. Should we put the maps on? Better need the sat nav on there. So yeah. We're gonna give them a quick power wash up and take them for a spin. It looks like this boat needs a bit of an engine in it, I'm not gonna lie. So if anyone's got a spare boat engine, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> if it's the one thing it's another one, it's like. What are we going to have in it though? I don't know, how, how do you put a boat engine in a boat? Uh, you, just, you know, just like sit it on with a propeller. Next thing, it will be like proper sailors. People don't know what's coming. Watch out, river wire. <laughs> cool then. Guys caught, we'll be at the canal. We're there in no time. Um, where are we going? We're going home, aren't we? Back Pig, in. don't be annoying. Right. Here she is. <laughs> Can you manage? I'm actually going to wee myself. There she is. Right. I feel like I should do a bit of explaining. So, in a previous vlog, Ben had some kayaks. I borrowed them last year. I actually vlogged it. It was when I went with Katie. And I left them on the riverbank stupidly. The river's taking them away. No kayaks. So, someone had reached out and was like, I've got some that you can have. Well, come and pick them up. I was like, right, I'll go and pick them up. Been to pick them up. And here they are. <laughs> Was well, going to power wash them and stuff now, but we're not really going to have time, are we? No. It's like nearly five o'clock, so that's another a day. No, it's job for another day. So, but yeah, I've got some more kayaks and a boat. The boat's a lot bigger than I was expecting, but it's fine. We'll see what we can do with it. If not, there might be a free boat going. <laughs> it's going to be like that ship that got stuck in the um, Suez Canal, however you say it. It did that last time I'll put your trailer on. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> you say that like it makes it okay. Like, oh, did it? Okay. Right then. Dying for a wee, let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see it already, can't you? Yep. If I was you, I would. Um... Hold to sit in that? Well, yeah, you could do, yeah. One second.
you'll see yourself. Just be a little bit afraid of. I'd um, yeah. I'd get a kettle of cold water and don't burn yourself and just pour it on there. Of cold of hot, hot water. Hot water, boiling yeah. water, then, and then put the poultice on it. Yeah. And you'll know yourself then when you come to it and you can press it and you won't have the reaction. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's. Poultice just, it up for a bit then. Yeah. Right. So if you'd have seen from that last little clip, I brought Michael in from the field yesterday and he was like hopping lame, which he. He's not shown any sign of lameness in the past like week, so I was like, hmm. That to me seems like an abscess kind of vibe, which, yeah, it's an abscess, right? So he told me to pour some hot water in it and get a poultice and poultice his foot. So I'm just looking to cause now, really quickly, to get some poultice stuff and a bit of vet wrap because I don't have anything um, at home. I did have some, but, and then, I think it was Cheeky that last had a, um an abscess which was ages ago now but anyway i don't tend to stock it so i just need to go and get some of that and then i'll quickly poultice his foot and hopefully within a day or two so the hot water will clean it and the poultice what the poultice does is you put it on you vet wrap it round, which i'll show you in a minute um it then draws out any badness out of that um like infected area so yeah hopefully in a few days that'll be fine and i'll be able to tell by just putting the pressure on if you put the pressure on that bit now it's very sore he flinches away and all that sort of stuff so So I've got my poultices and all that sort of stuff, but because he's lame and he'll be having his foot poultice, he'll be staying in for the next few days. So he's in absolute state. So I'm gonna wash him whilst he's in. And then we'll poultice his foot after. Good lad. Good boy. Shut this and then you can roam free. So with his um, abscess, I think, I think he's got that because of the very wet conditions outside and also because of that he's, had, he's got mud fever, which he's never had mud fever, so I actually can't believe he's got it. So I'm just washing his um, legs off like his infected areas with a bit of hippie scrub. It's a bacteri antibacterial wash. So yeah, I just thought whilst I'm on with it, I might as well do a proper job. Yummy. 
Good boy. Right, here we go. So, I've got my poultice here, which if you don't know what a poultice looks like, it's like cotton wool sort of on this side and then it's got a shiny plasticky side on the other. So I'm just going to open everything up first. To be honest, I probably don't need all of that. I don't have any scissors. Do I? Right. <laughs> onto the house then okay so i've got some hot water here which i'm going to tip in the affected area which won't hurt because it's all on hoof i'm not getting it on his little ankle good boy stand up please oh i can smell it Ugh. right ming in and i'm also going to hot poultice him so i've just put the boiling water on the poultice as well Lovely job. Right, I'm just gonna get my vet wrap ready. And then, the excess water out of that. And then you put that on the affected area, shove it in there, because I want it to draw out as much badness as I can. And then, we wrap. <laughs> I'll show you the thing when I take it off tomorrow, actually. And hopefully it'll have drawn out a load of badness, won't it, Michael? Yeah. 